We're with Abby Wright, head coach of the SPU volleyball team. Falcons, a huge weekend in the SPU CW Invitational, capped off by a three-set victory against number 13, St. Cloud State. Abby, just talk about what your team did, especially in that last match tonight. Yeah, I mean, we kind of talked about, um, you know, got a scouting report, and we went through it right before, and um, we said we got to be great, uh, firm hands on the block. They're good attackers, and um, they're going to use our hands, and so expect to expect contact on the block. I thought we set a really great block. I thought our eye work was really good, um, and I thought we took risks, and we kind of okay. talked about that. Like, you got to take risks and big time moments. You got to keep your foot on the gas, and like we kind of broke through tonight and um, understood what that meant and um, yeah it was really fun it was good I was really proud of proud of our team and our bench was into it the crowd was into it um, played with confidence and just a lot of fun all the way around we had, we had a lot of fun so and there were never any lulls tonight. I you know typically uh, during a match a team will have a lull here or there and St. Cloud had their runs but SPU yeah. never seemed to have one of those lulls that they kept the foot on the gas. Yeah, I mean, St. Cloud's a really good team, so we expected it to be tight at times, and, um, you know, it's kind of being able to play consistent throughout the lulls and the highs and all of that, and I thought when the game got tight, I thought we kept our foot on the gas and stayed confident and took big swings, and that's what you have to do um, in games like this. You can't really waver based on the score because the score's going to change, so trying to play one speed throughout and I thought we looked consistent tonight and composed and did a really good job so really proud of them. Tough win over Biola to start then Hawaii Pacific this morning St. Cloud did one of those matches kind of factor into the other as, you, as your team played throughout the weekend you know, as far as their confidence level and everything? I don't know I think you learn from every match and you learn you know we had different looks in each of those matches and I think you just yeah I don't I don't know if they did that's a good question actually um I think every team we played was so different. I think Biola had a lot of different people in and out. I think, you know, each game kind of required something different. So I don't know if they so much factored into each other, but maybe just experience playing, getting our team used to um, the speed of the game still and all of that. So, yeah. Was there a key moment in the St. Cloud match where you kind of felt, hey, we really have a shot at this thing? There's just some big time side out moments where we're tied or, um, score is close and I think seeing us able to flip it to the middle or flip it um, on a fast set um, I thought our passing hung in there and so being able to still run some quick balls opened up our pins and I think when we were able to run quick in tight moments I really think that just everybody was able to kind of take a deep breath and um, just everyone was kind of taking the load off of everyone so I don't know if okay. there was a key moment but I think our serving was tough and so yes. I think that helped open up too and going on these like mini runs I think helped so um, Emily kind of had some moments this weekend where she came in to serve yes she alleviates uh, some things for us with that um, and of course uh, Abigail at the end of the ace so that definitely helped a lot too so. what was it like having a uh, stands full of fans tonight how much how much did that factor into it it was really fun I hope they come back play well in front of a crowd I guess so it's good all right all right, guys, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right.